Hey, welcome back guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the SEPTA GE Silverliner 4 electric rail car. And I actually made this four years ago in a commission, which is right over here. So this is actually a redo of an older build. You see the old build here versus the new one. You can see a lot has changed since then. And uh, hopefully this looks a lot better than that one. So I have a couple units here. So this one right here is actually the single unit. And you can tell because it has a cab on both ends. And then right over here, this is called the married pair. And basically one has a pantograph and one doesn't. And there is no cab here in the middle. It's just closed off with a gangway. And here, pantograph, nothing on the other car. And uh, here's what it looks like in the back. And um, yeah, so this actually operates in SEPTA Regional Rail serving Philadelphia metropolitan area, which is where Train Master 39 is from. And uh, Train Master 3985, he's actually commissioned this video. So thanks him for making this video possible. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So first off, I'm going to be building the single unit, which you'll see right here. And after we're done with that, we're going to use this as a basis to transform it into the married pair later on in the video, if you do want to build that one. All right, so first off, we're going to take some materials, take out polish and site stairs, slab, as well as an iron trap door, polish and site block, black concrete, uh, dark oak fence gate and slab, polished black stone brick slab, another brick stairs, and another brick slab. All right, so first off, we're gonna add in another brick slab, right in the middle of tracks, another brick stairs to the side, dark oak fence gate in front of it. Open that up, dark oak slab on top of that. Then we're gonna go dangling up and add in this polished black stone brick slab. And then right behind the slab, we'll add in two black concretes and then a polished black stone brick slab. And then we'll add in another brick block. We're gonna make this so it's five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, and five. And we'll make it two blocks wide. Behind it, we'll add in this polished black stone brick slab, and we're going to make it 23 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. All right, after that, we'll add in a 2 by 5, or 5, yeah, of nether brick blocks. And then a polished black stone brick slab in the middle. And then two blocks long black concrete and then a dark oak slab at the bottom dark i mean polished black stone brick slab up there all right then underneath uh let's add in another brick slab it's gonna be right here down there another brick stairs dark oak fence gate in front of the slab open that up and this is sort of like the same thing as the front to be honest and then we'll add in a polished black stone brick slab over here. And a polished andesite stairs in front of that. Upside down on either side of that. And we'll also add in another upside down so it faces towards the middle like that. We'll add in a polished andesite slab underneath here like so. And then a polished andesite slab over here. Alright. Then we'll move uh, back into the front. Build up these steps as well. So add in that polished blackstone brick slab here, the polished anisite stairs right side up here, and upside down on either side of this. Polished anisite slab underneath down there. And then we shall add in polished anisite stairs upside down so it faces the middle here. And to fill in this gap, there's going to be that. Polished blackstone brick block, like a solid block in there. Alright, so then next up, uh, let's go right to this back area. Let me check what I add there. Okay, so that's going to be polished blackstone brick slab like that. And then we shall add in um, polished andesite 
block right over here. And then a two by two of polished andesite stairs, making a square shape with it for the cab window. Like that. And then we'll add in an acacia um, slab over here in the corner, birch bun inside. And then we'll add in these three warp signs. It's going to be wrapped around it. All right. Then at the top, we'll add in four blocks long of polished andesite stairs, but we're going to corner the fourth one. Then we'll add in a daylight detector and then this polished blackstone slab. That. In front of that, we'll add in a birch fence gate, open that up towards the slab, add in an iron trap door underneath it, and we shall go on to the other side and do a similar thing, pretty much the same thing basically at this point. So take out our polished anisite block, add one here, acacia slab here, and then a 2x2 two two of polished anisite stairs. Like this. And then we'll add in polished as it say stairs in this corner, make it four blocks long, and we'll corner this. Add a daylight detector here. And a polished blackstone slab here. A birch fence gate, open that up. And then an iron trap door underneath. Now behind in this section there will be a polished and a site block there with polished and a site slab. And that will be at the top and the bottom of this, so top and the bottom. And then next up we'll add in black concrete inside of it. So we'll add in two blocks tall here and then two blocks behind the main door. And don't forget to add in our warp signs. So we could add three, wrap that around. And later on we're gonna change one so it's different. And then we'll add in a birch bun over here, and then we'll take out chain block as well as light gray carpet. So add in light gray carpet above the coupling, and then two chain blocks over here stacked on top of each other. Let's go to the other side. And on this side, we shall add in the two chain blocks as well, the light gray carpet, and the polished andesite block here, and the slabs at the top and the bottom of this. Then two black concretes here, and then another two. Next up on the side, we'll add in polished andesites, top to bottom of this, and then an andesite slab. Like in so. And behind in this part, I guess we can add another polished andesite block. Alright, so let's go on to the other side here. And we'll do the same thing, add in polished andesite block. The slabs top to bottom, and then I need to say wall right there. Great so far. All right, next up, we'll take out a birch fence gate. We're going to add that to the bottom corner right over here. Open that up. And then we shall go on to uh, this side, and we'll add in stone brick block. And this is going to go on both the top and the bottom row of this. So let's work on that. Just go all the way across. Onto the other side. And then we're going to do the top row all the way across. And this is to represent the ribbing that goes across the whole thing. Like that. Alright, then we're going to go to the back. Add in a birch fence gate over here at the bottom. Open that up. And then we shall add in... Um, stone brick slabs and this is going to go all the way across the sides of the roof to the other side great all right after we're done with that let's take out uh this gray terracotta the polished blackstone uh, stairs and slab nether brick slab and then a nether brick wall and a dark oak button. All right, so first off, let's go over here, make the wheel. So it's gonna go diagonal from this stairs, add in that gray terracotta, skip three blocks, add another one, 
add in dark oak blends to the sides of it. Polish black stone stairs facing each other and then polish black stone slab in the middle. And behind that we'll add in uh, nether bricks walls actually behind the stairs and then a slab in for the rest of the bogey. Looks like this and I'm going to do the same thing for the other bogey. So it actually just lines up with this nether brick uh, block, add in the wheels again. I guess you don't really need to calculate anything. I'm just rebuilding the same thing. And if you're having trouble, I'm just going to build it for you right now. Like that. Alright, so after we have done that point. Alright, next we'll take out polish and a site slab. Stairs and polish and a site. Stairs, okay. So, to make this bogey, what we're going to do is we're going to go on above this wheel, add in polish and a site slab. And then upside down, polish and a site stairs facing towards the middle. And polish and a site slab. And then a right side up polish black stone stairs. And then polish and a site slab here. I believe that's how it goes. And then polish and a site slab underneath here. And then there will be... A spruce fence gate and we will open that up no. then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate underneath the stairs open that up towards the other side and then we'll add in a spruce trap door like that so it's connected all right so that's it for that bogey now for the other bogey um i think we'll do it the other direction so right over here polish and inside slab and then upside down stairs and a slab and then right side up polish blackstone and then polish blackstone slab underneath spruce trap door here and then a dark oak trap door i mean fence gate open up towards that trap door like that and the rest of the sides it should just be polish uh and a site all the way across like that and then we'll go back into the front area and we'll add in this dark oak fence gate in front of this wheel and open that up towards the front end. Right. Alright, so next we'll go on to the side here, the front end, and we'll add in blue concrete behind this. So it's going to be two blocks long, like that. And then two black concretes. And then a blue concrete, two blacks, blue concrete and three blacks now the reason why this window is like wider than the other ones is because there's supposed to be five windows in here but i can only fit four so you know we just have to do it like that anyways back to the build blue concrete here and then two black concretes and then this time it's going to be six blue concretes so one two three four five six and then two blacks one blue three blacks, one blue, two blacks, one blue, two blacks, and then three blues, like that. And in front of each of these black areas, we're gonna just add in black glass in front of that area. And you'll notice, if you're paying attention to this build, this actually like this side is longer than the front end, and it's supposed to be like that. It's not a mistake or anything. All right, so next up, we're to go um, to the first window at the edge, and we'll add in this uh, acacia slab here. Same thing in between all these windows, and same thing in between all the other windows on the other side. Now up to this middle area, we'll just add in two slabs on both ends, and then in the middle is gonna be a little door window thing, so that's gonna be Two blocks wide of nether brick walls like that. All right, so next up, let's go. Uh, we're gonna take out polish andesite block, and then polish blackstone bricks. So go to this window with three blocks wide in the front, and then we'll line it up and add in two polish andesites like that. And then we'll go to this um, three block wide window again, but this time we're gonna line up with this pillar. And I'm going to do the same thing, just add in two polished andesites. And then the exterior area, which is on this side, just add in that polished blackstone bricks. 
all the way across like that and then we'll add in stone brick slab and we're gonna add that on top of that black stone brick that we just placed and then after that we're gonna line up where this little middle door thing is and we're gonna add in three of the stone brick slabs so make sure it does line up towards side here this should be the middle like that and then we'll add another stone brick slab at the ends the middle that's going to be that polished black stone brick slabs all the way across so it should look like this and then for the roof area we're going to turn this daylight detector blue on both ends and then we'll take out stone brick slabs and we will add them right on top all the way across in this front area all right so once we're done with that we're to copy everything that we did on this side and build the other half all right so after we have both halves it should look like this so we'll add in a birch sign and we're going to place that on the left just for the septa logo it's a little white in there we'll also add in um a birch sign right over here just on this side apparently go on to the other side add that birch sign on left and it should be right over here as well alright so next up we'll take out red concrete and we'd actually place this part right over here and add in an upside down smooth quartz stairs in front of it and then we'll go in the back section, add in red concrete in the middle. And upside down, smooth quartz stairs, like that. And we'll go on to the other side, and we will add one. So it's ahead of this one, so add in red concrete here, upside down, smooth quartz stairs. And this should face the same direction as the other one. And we'll do the same thing in the front here, red concrete. And smooth quartz stairs upside down. And for the rest of this nook, we're just going to fill that in with acacia slabs all the way across that. Alright, so once you have that, very nice. Alright, so next we'll go in the back section over here. And we'll add in a diorite wall, skeleton skull, blackstone button. So first off, blackstone button, diorite wall. A skeleton skull on top and then we'll add in these two dark oak fences and then a birch fence here and then after that it's gonna be a acacia fence gate so faces towards the back area diorite walls on either side of it and then next up before we get too far into this we're gonna fill in this bottom area uh, all these under these blocks, we'll just fill that in with these um, stone brick like that and surround it with stone brick slabs like this and this area here, we'll just fill in the bottom stone brick blocks alright, so back to this, we'll add in uh, this birch fence gate here and then a diorite wall and then two more birch fence gates and then stone brick slab and then for the other side we'll add in a birch fence gate and then a diorite wall and then two dark oak fence gates a brick wall and then a blackstone brick wall so two dark oak fence gates and then a brick wall and then a blackstone brick wall and in the middle of this is just going to be stone brick slabs all the way across inside like this all right next up uh, we're going to add in <laughs> these pantograph now this is actually going to be lowered and later on the tutorial uh, when I show you the married pair I'm going to show you how to like raise it if you do want to do that just watch further later down in the video. Alright, so we're going to take out 
uh, acacia trap door and acacia slab. So first off, we'll add an acacia slab right here in the middle. Acacia trap door is diagonally across from it. Acacia fence gate here. Another acacia trap door here. And then acacia fence gates on either side of this. And then a dark oak trap door. It's going to be three blocks wide. We have dark oak fence gates that's open towards it. Then in the middle of this, we'll add in these two orange carpets. Like that. All right, so now we're gonna make the bottom. And if you guys want, I could just show you what the bottom looks like right over here. Just in case if that's easy, you could pause the video and just build this. Anyways, we're gonna take out polish and site, I mean, polish blackstone brick slab. And I'm gonna add one in front of each of the bogies for both ends and sides like that. And then we will start making this side. So that's going to be four black concretes. So one, two, three, four. And then we'll add in polished black stone brick slabs underneath. Follow that up with two upside down nether brick stairs. And then three black stone brick uh, walls like that. And then these chiseled polished black stone two blocks. And what else is over here? Um, blackstone brick slab. And we're going to add that slabs underneath this part that juts out as well. And then another three black concretes with blackstone brick slabs underneath. And then I think that's another brick stairs. Yeah, two blocks. And then two blackstone brick walls with dark oak trap doors underneath it. And then two black concretes. We have a polished black stone brick slab underneath that one. All right, that's it for that side. So for the other side, we'll take out a uh, light gray concrete stone slab. And we shall add that. So that's going to be three light gray concretes and then three stone slabs underneath. And then we'll add six black concretes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then a gray concrete, like that. And then upside down, nether brick stairs. And then a polish blackstone block here. And then we'll add in that polished blackstone brick slabs underneath these blocks over here all the way across. And then black concrete right over here. And we'll add in polished blackstone block over here black concrete and this black concrete is going to go all the way across and we'll add in that polished black stone brick slabs underneath all these black concretes like that all right so that should be it for the bottom area all right next up we'll add in a stone button next to this birch sign and the work button at the bottom of this all right so yeah that's pretty much it how to make uh, the single unit and now we're going to convert it so that I'm going to make a clone of this and make it into a married pair. All right, so now I'm going to make the married pair and uh, I'm going to make a base model for both types of married pair cars. Just getting rid of this extra cab and then we'll just make another copy here. So first things first, we'll add in a stone block, an acacia slab, and we're pretty much going to like destroy yeah, this is like 2 by 3 on this side. And the 2 by 3 on the other side. Like that. Okay. Then we'll add in stone block. Three blocks tall here. One block here. Acacia slab. Stone block there. Other side, same thing. It's kind of like a giant C shape. And then it should look like this. And for the gangway, that's going to be a polished black stone brick wall here. Three blocks tall, polished black stone brick slab at the top. And then we'll delete this uh, fence gate and we will replace it with a dark oak fence gate. And then we'll also delete these daylight detectors and this um, polished black stone. And we'll add in stone slabs on either side of this. 
All right, and we'll also get rid of this pilot thing. Delete that. And we'll add in a dark oak fence gates pair like that underneath, like so. Very cool, very nice. All right, so um, we're also gonna add in an acacia button right above these uh, fence gates like that. And then next up, we'll delete these stairs on the sides and instead we'll add in polished black stone brick slab here and then three stone brick slabs. Other side, we could do the same thing. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the base model. So it copy this thing again, rotate 180 degrees and build it right over here. All right, so once we built the other side, it should look like this. So we got the married pair and we need to get rid of this pen graph. So pretty much delete everything that sticks up over here. Delete, 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 delete these walls and these fence gates. Yep, delete everything over here. And this part right over here, you can keep that these two dark oak fence but pretty much anything uh, other than that we'll just delete that and we'll delete this line here in the middle so take out dark oak fence gate and also blackstone brick wall and it's like wall so add in that blackstone brick wall at the edge here dark oak uh, fence gate and then and it's like wall and then dark oak fence gates all the way across to match up with that side and then we'll fill all this in with stone brick slabs. Like that, so it's all connected. Alright, so for the other side, as I said before, I would tell you how to like raise this up. So to actually raise it up, uh, first things first, delete these carpets over here. Uh, delete these um, acacia fence gates. And we'll add in an acacia Fencegate right over here, open that up. And then we'll add uh, two blocks on top of this. Try to line that up. And add in a dark oak trapdoor on the sides of it. Delete these two blocks that we just placed. Extends that in the middle. Add in the dark oak fence gates on the sides. This. And then we'll delete this original pantograph. Contact. And then we'll add in these a pair of acacia trap, I mean, fence gates like that. So this should look like this, and we'll also add in acacia trap doors on top of these diorite walls like that. All right, so we got our wall sticking out like so. And then we're gonna add in a dark oak fence gate right over here so it all connects. All right, so next up we'll go onto this car and try to go in the middle here. And we'll add in two end rods right here on the sides. Like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the Septa Silver Liner for uh, EMU in Minecraft. Finally, we have done it. it took quite a long time to actually uh, design this. Um, but finally, we're finished. Uh, thanks again to Trainmaster3985 for commissioning this build and making this video possible guys do enjoy the video hit the like button down below subscribe if you had already i'll see you guys in the next one